Okay, so the question is, how do you bring in a PDF file? Um, you see over here, there is uh, three different things. Import PDF as vectors, PDF underline manager. If these aren't in your default interface, you can always click on the commands and search. So you type PDF and you'd find the PDF and you drag it into a space. PDF tools, you want both of those, and you also want underlay. And so that one there, and then the underlay manager. The PDF to underlay objects, that's another option. So there's an underlay manager, right. So the easiest way of doing this is just to import from PDF there, and then you go to the downloads, and there's the PDF. And then you need to select it and then insert, right? So you'll insert it, ask for the scale, you just bring it in at scale 1, and then it'll bring it in, right? Now the, the scale itself, the drawing, it's, it's going to be uh, somewhere here. It should tell you what the scale is of the drawing. Um, there, it's like 1 to 8. So chances are, if you uh, select this and just multiply it by 8, then you're going to get a true world size, right? Because that's what the scale was. So now you can see when I select it, it's a group of graphics. So if I explode it, then it becomes the elements in the thing. You can see now I can select whatever that is on the thing and probably delete that. You see, there's a couple of things here. You can just select them and delete them and then you can get the actual entities which you can then edit and manipulate and change right um, chances are you want to do a measurement here so that's uh, i don't know if you go um, measure dimension distance whatever that is so from v there to v there you can see it's uh, 16, 15.18. It's probably supposed to be inches, right? So you could, if you really wanted to, cheat the system and say line, single, from there in this direction, 16 and 0. And then you can go Control a to select everything, Shift-click to unselect that. And then you can use this generic transformation command that says take uh, that point there and put it there and we must turn that off and scale and keep the aspect ratio and then we could take over from that end there to that end there and then hit finish and then that should be the correct size something went wrong there I snapped to something I'm going to do that again um, so we're going to do the generic transformation, keep aspect ratio. So I want to go from V there, okay, to V there, and from probably V there to V there, and then finish. And then that's going to be the correct size. Okay. Now, um, when you do a measurement, control DI from V there to uh, V there, you'll see that the distance is 16, which is what you would expect. And then you can use it and manipulate it. I'm going to leave it there.